Really disturbing story. This out of France. A Muslim schoolgirl accused her teacher of Islamophobia. Said that her teacher sent Muslim students out of the room and then showed images of Muhammad, which is which is banned in Islam. Uh, she made this up that it wasn't true. She actually just got in trouble and she wanted to uh, get out of it with her parents. So she made up the story about the quote unquote Islamophobic teacher. And then the teacher, a 47 year old guy named Samuel Patty, was decapitated by a Muslim because of the false accusations. To take you through the story, young girl, I think she was 13 or something at the time, accuses her teacher falsely of Islamophobia, and then a Muslim beheads him for it. So forget for a moment about what happens to the girl. Forget about the poor teacher and his family. Can we ditch the term Islamophobia? Now, Islamophobia is a term that was popularized after 9-11 because after 9-11, the liberals were far more concerned with the potential backlash against supposedly peaceful Muslims than they were over the 3,000 Americans who were killed in the attack on, on the Twin Towers and on the Pentagon. Much more concerned with that. So that you had this term Islamophobia. Phobia is an irrational fear. So they said it's an irrational fear of Islam. How many beheadings do you need for this exact charge, the charge of Islamophobia, for showing a picture of Muhammad? How many beheadings do you have before we can get rid of this term Islamophobia? This guy was a murderer. He's a Chechen murderer uh, living in France, seeking asylum. So a Chechen Muslim says, please give me asylum, France. And France gives him asylum. And then he beheads a teacher over a a fake charge of Islamophobia. But even if the teacher had actually done that, I don't think you should be beheaded for that. Call me crazy. All because this guy was there for asylum. A lot of people are there seeking asylum. There's one question that the West faces right now in France, in the UK, in Italy, throughout Europe, in the United States, which is when can the citizens of our own countries seek asylum? Moreover, where can we seek asylum? We hear about asylum for all sorts of people who are creating a lot of social problems, in some cases killing our citizens through the trend de Aragua, MS-13, Mexican gangsters, or Muslim terrorists in Europe— Where can we get our asylum? I think that's a lot of what the 2024 election was about. I think that's a lot of what Brexit was about. A lot of the right-wing elections in Europe are about. So far, we haven't gotten a really good answer on that. We need an answer to that. That's what we're seeking. We're seeking some asylum. Unfortunately, our countries now seem like insane asylums where where the inmates are running the institutions. That was a great clip. Now stop, ring the bell, subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel, and we will see you next time.